It's all about the end of the day that he represents. And we've seen even people. And, 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 and the thing about what makes him different from, like, let's say your Big Meat, shout out to Big Meat, you know, mm -hmm. and other people who were huge at, you know, uh, uh, you know, people, they were doing, you know, illegal things as per se, quote, unquote, but the main thing they were able to do is organize people and accumulate large sums of money without paying taxes. This right, these two things right here, they not going for that and they, they'll tear you down. But Jay Prince, he's doing it legit, boxing promoter, Drake, you know what I mean? His son with Drake, you know, different things like that. So he's building his uh, empire legitimate. And then there was a rumor that went around a few years ago, you know, that said that the, Jay Prince was one of them and a few other uh, moguls Dame Dash, you know, we're trying to come together and get their our own distribution company. Or and then the Fred came night. in, mm -hmm. right, and 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 uh thwarted this whole operation, you know, and, and and put false cases on people, this, that, and the third. So yeah, the feds are real, COINTEL Pro is real, and we gotta watch out. That's why, you know, the beef stuff all, all the time, you know, is it is it, it's good to a certain extent, but when it starts going too far. Now we know what Jay Prince was talking about. Even I was going in on him, like, you know, he's bluffing this, that, and the third. But once I seen that in the comment section, people were like, this reeks to the feds and this, that. I'm like, okay, this might be bigger than what we think it is. So cool. I mean, well, Jay Prince always dropped gems. I don't think anybody would deny that. He's an OG respected throughout here. Diddy actually spoken on The Breakfast Club this morning. I want to play a little bit of that. No doubt. And then we'll get into that because so, Diddy. Let's hear what Diddy has to say about this real quick. And we'll get back on it. Hit that like button. Since it's a true podcast, let's go. Now, now, Puff, I got to ask, you've been through a lot of them. You, uh, Pusha T, Drake. Pusha T released the album. Two days later, we seen you in the club with Drake. What did you think of the, uh, of the, of <laughs> no, both well, records? No, we saw, we saw Diddy say Pusha album was classic. Right. Then it was in the club yeah. with Drake. Right, so, so what do you think? No, yeah, I, I, it was, it was the day after. Day after, right, yep. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? Um, um, you know, I think... Battling in hip hop is a part of hip hop, man. Right. I mean, if you're trying to be the best MC, I mean, there's going to be battle with. Um, and at this at, at this juncture in time, it's it's like kind of safe, you know. <laughs> when when we was having battles, it it was getting unsafe. Uh, and you know, I I think that that this is the most skillful artist that Drake has come up against. And you know, Drake likes the smoke. He loves the smoke. You know. Right. What, what do, you, do you think, uh, you know, we had the OG J Prince up here and he said that he feel like everything was going too far. He said he feel like pushing went too far and he feel like the response Drake was going to put out was, was, was too far. So he said he'd rather just shut it all down before it gets crazy. If, if, if he felt that, you know, things were going to get to a point of negativity and, and, and violence, um, you know, I, I think you got to listen to your OGs, you know what I'm saying, that have been right. certain things because that it, 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 ain't, it ain't worth it, you know what I'm saying? I agree. And, um, but 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 as far as in the battle, you know, if, if he didn't respond, then, um, you know, he, he, he took the L. Hey, there you go, Diddy. <laughs> One time for Team Dark Skin. Oh, God. Pusha T is the winner. You heard it from Diddy. He didn't say that. Yes, he did. He said he took no. the L because he didn't respond. No, no, no. He didn't say that. Yes, he no, did. No, 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 no. He took that. He took that. Yeah, I said he took the L. Because he didn't respond. And I said I said he should have, have, have listened. He should listen to Jay Prince because I was in that same position. I was in that same position where hit him up. Right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I told Big not I told Big not to respond. So I could understand because what Big had written for them, like somebody was going, you know, it was going to get as bad as it, it got. You know? Yeah. So you're like, just and take so, this L. It's, right. It's, 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 it's an L because we, we know that there's, there's guidelines and rules. You got 48 hours, you know, to respond. Like, like Push almost took an L, but it was Memorial Weekend. Right. So we let them we let them come back on Tuesday. These are just fun like little facts, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Buy everybody, you know everybody support everybody. Buy everybody's record, but at, you know if we scoring we scoring about, um, and, and and you decide to 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 not respond, then you you got to give it to push on this one. And it's all good. Then life moves on. That's all. Life moves on. Drake will be fine. You know what I'm saying? I believe that right. shit. We'll stop it right there. I definitely believe that Big Big has something ready. Yeah, I believe that a hundred thousand percent. We've seen it in his bars. He had something ready. And Tupac was seen. It seemed like he was a little, 
like emotional back then that he would have probably, you know what I mean? Mm. He'd have went off. And you <laughs> know what? That's a great point that you make, oh God, because right. do you think, and I'm not comparing by no means Drake and, and Tupac, but do you think this was a situation where um Jay Prince kind of knew his artist, knew his boy in Drake and knew Drake, excuse me, and knew that he was going to get ultra sensitive and this wasn't going to end well because he was just he's a sensitive guy. So he knew yeah. that. I mean. Who knows what he was saying? You think you were of the mindset that he had something for Pusha T and Kanye West. I'm more along the lines of him kind of dropping a little more of the Duppy drops and Duppy lines toward Pusha T and him really going at Kanye because now the whispers are that uh, Drake wrote for him a lot more than what was led to be and he didn't get a lot of credit for things that he wrote. So I'm sure Drake had a lot of ammo for Kanye West and was kind of maybe going to give Pusha T the can, loss can, on the I don't love. think you can uh, compare the situations. You know what I mean? That's I don't, you know, like again, it, like you said, this is safe. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I, I think it's I think it's a little different. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I, that's just me. I could be wrong. I think the Biggie and Pac was on a whole nother level. You know what I mean? This type of shit. I don't think nobody's gonna get killed or nothing like that. You know what I mean? I really don't. I hope I, would, I mean I would uh, hope not. And I'm yeah. not I'm not throwing that out there, they're throwing that energy out there either. I just think that we're in a day and age where you got people that want to prove themselves or wear a hat so crazy and people are just so open that it may not even be uh even in the circle of a push of T or Drake. It might be somebody just looking on the internet so or it Drake, might be a coin tell so, so Drake, so Drake came out with an uh, album and he dissed Pusha T and Kanye. You think that somebody's going to kill somebody in Drake's crew? Nah. You think that Kanye... That's, that's what I'm saying. I don't think it's on the same level I don't even, as that. Like, if, if you would say, oh, I wrote three songs for Kanye, one of his hits, I don't think it would have... Just me personally, I don't think it would have went there. Nah, and I, that situation. I even alluded to it on the Viral Hip Hop News. I don't think that Pusha T is even looking at it that crazy. Just, I don't think his distaste or his hatred for Cash Money and Drake and Young Money and all them would even move him to right. threaten Jay Prince. For what? Right. Like, what's the day he's they, they're talking right now? He understands the game. He understands right. even like I know a lot of people in the comment section are saying, well, Jay Prince, he kind of went at Pusha T when he called him a hog. Now, nah, y'all got to really understand that situation. Think of it in boxing terms. Mm -hmm. He's a dirty, gritty fighter in the boxing ring. That is the hip hop game and the mm -hmm. rap ring and what they're doing. And he's not going to stop. And knowing his fighter, knowing Drake and knowing he's hypersensitive, it was going to go to another level. And it might go somewhere where it wasn't safe. So he wanted to dead that situation. Yeah, yeah. And it looks like it was a great decision on that part. If if Drake wants to drop some slick shit, all right, cool. That'd be great. You know what I mean? We would love for it to just stay to the bars because we want to hear. Right. We would love to hear what Drake had to say. Just like we would love to hear what Biggie had to say. But we don't want to see the end result and anybody leaving, man. We want to see I mean, everyone be successful and do their thing. I've been in B. I've been in like internet things before. Mm -hmm. And it could definitely go there. You know, you got to be, you know, careful, you know, when people. And then it's like, it is real that. Once somebody, that's like somebody now, they come at your family. Yeah. Now the door is now open for you to go at. So I, I definitely get, you know, that aspect of it. And I'll just say this again. I think they luck. Drake is kind of lucky that Jay, Jay Prince, you know what I mean, is here. Because imagine if Jay Prince, you know, didn't come and mediate. You know what I mean? It's, and then he, you know, so whatever at the end of the day. But, you know what I mean? Um, You know, we will see. But I, I think Drake's going to, you know, I think he will respond in a different way. He might say something slick. In a few hours, but I don't think it's going to go where it would have went. Yeah, man, I, I would have to agree on that. I think he's definitely going to say a couple things slick here and there, but mm -hmm. it is, it's not going to go to the level. We'll be forgetting about this in the very, very soon at the end of the day, man. At the end of the day, you're listening to the Uncensored Truth Podcast with your brother Sam, man. And oh, God, make sure you go up top and hit that like button. Having a dope show right now. I wanted to yeah. talk about our man. Definitely. But you're listening to the Uncensored Truth Podcast with your brother, oh, God, and Sam, man. We want to encourage everybody listening. That rocks out with us, even if you don't rock out with us, go ahead up top and hit the like button and go ahead and share this video on all your social media platforms. This helps the message get out there way, way faster. We definitely appreciate, you know, y'all for doing so. We got anything else over there on the ticket today? I think the ticket is top, man. I think we're done, bro. Cool, Let's man. Right, thanks and be up out of here. All right, man. I'm going to give a shout out to uh, Rattel SEO. You know what I mean? Shout out to my man, Darren Marion, doing the thing. Make sure I go check out the website, Hip Hop UN dot com for your latest hip-hop news that's all i got shout out to my brothers 120 nico baby boy love y'all man we're doing our thing out here can't wait to show you all the blessings we got going on shout out to my man marlon over at double xl magazine Peace. really showing some love to us and, and really giving us some feedback and support we've been talking can't wait to vibe with you soon shout out to my man trev over at plug the plug retail makes you go to plug the plug dot com online selling trade electronics Doing dope things in the gaming in the community within Southern New Jersey. Shout out to all the black entrepreneurs making a difference out here, man. If you're yes, making sir. a difference within your community and you're doing it the right way, man, shout out to you. Blessings to you. That's all I got, oh God. All right, man. Well, we're out of here today, family. Everybody listening, once again, hit the like button and make sure you share the video. Peace.
Yeah, so tell me more about this uh, XXL situation. 